Okay, so in order to start, <clears throat> very first thing, you're gonna need a ruler. You're gonna need a dot because you're gonna need one vanishing point, okay? And now, just to make it easy on those who may not have done this before, okay? I'm gonna start off pretty basic. You could do this, you could do this, you can do this, you can do um, this, and you could do, let me give some other kind of, ah, you could do this, trace it around the dead body, <laughs> and you could do letters if you want to, um, and then, like I said, trace around the dead body, so to speak. Okay, um, let's put a circle in there. Let's put a star, maybe. I'm just coming up with different shapes that you could do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do two more, because um, that's what I would like you to do. If you are a beginner, I want you to take 10 2D shapes to 3D. All right, that's your job. <clears throat> now, um, let's get a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Um, let's do a rectangle and let's do, guys, give me a shape. Any shape. Come on, shout it out. Any other shape? An octagon. Uh, oh, wait. You know what we got to do? I'm sorry, we didn't do this. The wibbly wobblies. <laughs> okay. And uh, I already got an octagon in there. Um, yeah, do you see it? Okay. All right, now, how do you start? Okay, so you're gonna need a dot and you're gonna need at least 10 2D shapes, okay? Now, all edges that are closest to the vanishing point go to the vanishing point. Now, another thing, these construction lines can be very light. Then what you do, once you've done that, okay, you've taken it to the point, to the point, pardon me, to the point, to the point, to the point, and now parallel, parallel, okay? So now what do I have? I have this cylindrical form to the one point perspective, okay? Let's do this again. <clears throat> to the vanishing point, edge to the vanishing point, all the nearest edges to the vanishing point, okay? And now parallel, parallel, oh wait, one more, sorry, I forgot about this one. And please let me know if ever I get off camera. I'm trying to navigate two cameras here. <laughs> okay, so now parallel and then parallel, parallel, parallel. And this one, you could keep it thick or thin, whatever you want to do now. So now you have your second 3D form made from the 2D. Okay, now, so that's two of them. Now next, let's go to the star. Let's go to the stars, okay. Um, to the point, edge to the point, edge to the point, edge to the point, and edge to the point, edge to the point, and edge to the point. Okay, <clears throat> now, parallel, 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 okay? Now, let's do this again. To the point, to the point, to the point. Parallel, parallel, and parallel, and I'll tell you what, just for the sake of using the ruler, parallel, okay? Does everybody get that? Is there anybody that doesn't get that? Okay, now. Some do these with more complicated designs like buildings. I love you, that's exactly where I'm going next. Okay, is there anybody whom is at this level who needs to see this done again? I hear crickets, okay. All right, let's take it up a notch now. Now the next level. All right, and what I'm gonna do for you is I am going to, 
Actually, I've been drawing all day for two days now. Okay. Um, I get paid to draw. Isn't that amazing? I love drawing. God, it's amazing. All right, now, the next one. Okay, the more complicated version. Okay, again, starts off with a dot. Okay, that vanishing point. And the other thing I do, okay, just so I could see reality. I don't know, I start, I start visioning things as soon as I do this. I put an X in there, and then before you know it, man, my imagination goes wild, okay? I don't know about your imagination, but my, my, my imagination right now is shooting all over the place of what I could do. Okay, now, but I'm gonna tame my imagination down, and on one side, I'm gonna give you a building scene, and I'll tell you what, on the other side, I'll give you a room scene, okay? So, building, what do you do? All right, starts off with a vertical. Okay, let's write that down. We need a vertical. We need a vanishing point, okay? Like steps. Now, another thing that you need to know about um, perspective, or at least two, uh, one point perspective, everything is either vertical, horizontal, or it's going to the vanishing point. That's kind of like law. So. I have to finish this and make my 2D, let's say my 2D shape that we just did. You know, we went over all those 2Ds. Now here we are with a building and we're creating that 2D form, okay? Now we're gonna do exactly what we did a few minutes ago, but now it's, it's now thinking of buildings, okay? Thinking of constructing and making buildings. Now, I hate to say this, but a, ma a lot of math goes into this and you'll, you'll see why in a minute. Um, so that's a building, right? Now, in order to make sure that it stays on the same plane, okay, we want to make sure it stays on that line. So let's say I come up with another building right next to it. Let's say I want to go a little higher. That's fine. But now, come in and do my horizontal, my horizontal, and now my vertical, and now it's overlapping, that's cool, all right? Take it to the point, and I won't go all the way. I'm gonna stop it now. You know, I'm not gonna go use my construction lines everywhere, okay? I wanna try to clean it up so I don't have to erase too much, all right? So now parallel, parallel, and parallel. Now, next thing. Let's say I wanna put some windows in that. Let's say I wanna put a sidewalk, all that crazy stuff, okay? So now anything on this side goes to that point. So let's say I need to add in some words on the building, I don't know. Let's put a, just a big S on it, right? Why not? <laughs> um, so what would I do? I start off with those two lines. Second, I come up with my, remember everything's vertical. And because we're trying to make a letter here, um, everything that we learned in kindergarten, Oy, there they go with the announcements again. Test one, two, three. Testing Michael Croft, PA system. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that detour. Now, so here's my letter, the beginnings of my letter, okay? And let's say, I don't know, let's say I want to make it an S, so I'll go ahead and put a big S on this. And I'll break it down. Um... All right, so now I've got my S, okay? You're basically, let, let me zoom in a bit. Let me show you basically what just happened in a larger scale. Um, basically what just happened was this, that got rounded out, so to speak. That uh, came this way, this came up. Oh boy, there they go again. Testing crop, all call. Michael crop, all call. All right, so basically what I just did was this on a lighter and smaller scale, okay? That's what I just did, all right? That's how, remember some of you asked me about letters on people, letters on things, how things drape across, that's what you gotta think about, okay? You gotta think about perspective as you do that, okay? Now, um, Let's now talk about, let's say, the windows and stuff that you might want to put in there. Everything, again, is vertical or going to the vanishing point. 
got to use a ruler. You can't just freehand it. You want to freehand it, and I know you do. And I will say, when you get better at this, you will start dropping the ruler, but I'm telling you right now, if you want it perfect, I'll tell you this much. One time I did a painting, and I did a painting of a room scene with four people in it. The professor, as soon as I was done, said, okay, where's the vanishing point? I did not use a vanishing point, and she was upset. She says, any architect will come in and look at your piece and say, man, your perspective is off. So if you plan to put any room scene, any kind of, um, if you plan to put yourself into something or like if it's sitting on a chair or this or that, you've got to make sure the perspective is right because somebody's going to come in and they're going to critique your work, okay? So um, now getting back on track. So here we've got all the sides of this area, either going vertical or to the point. This side is just horizontal and vertical. So this side becomes easy, okay? This side is just horizontal. Just make sure you're doing horizontals. Testing, all call for Michael Prop. Okay, so horizontal and verticals, okay, on this side. Now, let's do a sidewalk, okay? We all know that sidewalk will delineate and sidewalk has thickness, okay? And then things that get closer to you are going to be wider spaced away. Things that are closer to you are going to be bigger. Things that go back in space are going to be smaller. So as I go back in my lines, they're going to get smaller. And now don't forget, these are your verticals. So they go basically up and down, okay? And that's how you would do your sidewalk, okay? Sidewalk and buildings. And now let's say, I don't know, maybe I want a car. And I will tell you guys, the better you get at perspective, it's going to be like magic. You could literally draw almost anything. The only thing that's going to happen is that um, you might need like photographs to help you um, afterwards to like get details. Like, like say I'm doing this car and I, you know, I'm just doing it real boxy, okay? But yet, you know, maybe I might need to know what the car looks like, what kind of bumper, you know, I might get into all the details later. Um, from here, the elevation goes up and then I'll put my horizontal and then I'll take it to the vanishing point, that projection upward, take it to the point, make sure I'm on that point and then Stop it at this point. So that's my little roof. So there's my little Chevy Impala. Um, put my lines in. And now tires, just so you know, is the same concept. Uh, tire is going to do this. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You're gonna do, take it to the point. And then after that, sounds weird, but you're gonna have to find the midpoint, okay? Um, in here, this is basic. I'm gonna draw it bigger so you know what the heck I'm talking about. This is basically what's going on. Okay, it's going to the vanishing point, and this is rounding out, rounding out, rounding out, rounding out, and then um, remember horizontal, vertical, and then your thickness of your wheel per se would be like that. Okay, let's say if I was drawing it on the other side. That's what's going on, okay? I'm basically taking this, <laughs> making it larger so that you guys could see it, um, making it larger, and this would probably go back in space this way, okay? Since the tire is on that side, it's gonna go back in space like that, okay? But roughly, find that midpoint. That midpoint's real important, okay? Now, so that's my car, that's my, um, what you call the, uh, Buildings, okay. Now let's say on this side, I wanna go ahead and do a room or I wanna do a school scene, I don't know. All right, so I'll, let me start off with putting in like a little archway, okay. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go a little higher with my archway, just so I can play with perspective a bit. Go a little higher. Uh, okay, that will work. And then here I have to go with the horizontal. That will stay along this plane, okay? Just like that. Let's say I wanna put baseboard or, I don't know, whatever it is that I might wanna do. Maybe I wanna do a sofa. Uh, put a sofa in right about 
let's bring it up a notch right about here and again you you, you think about the 2d okay that 2d shape the form and then you take it to the point and then you take it to the point okay and then you take it to the point and you just keep on creating or making or building however you want to call it sofa i don't know you decide what you want it to be thickness of it thinness of it how deep you want the object to sit. Okay, that's my little sofa. And you guys don't tell me I'm off camera. <laughs> okay, is anybody paying attention now? Because I'm ready to go on to two point and uh, three point. I got a question. Yes, tell me. So, like, in everyday life, wherever your eyes end up, is that where the one-point perspective is? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Um, usually, okay, whenever you're parallel to the horizon, I know this sounds weird, but you're, you usually have a one-point perspective, okay? If you are off to the edge in the corner somewhere looking at your horizon, that's when you get into two point and three point. And then if you're way up high, that's another thing. Or if you're way down low, that's another thing. It changes your perspective. Does so like sense? for the still life assignment we were doing, we would still be thinking about our perspective in that sense. Yeah, you should. You should. Uh, every, I'll tell you right now, anything I draw, I think about perspective, anything. Because I'm because anytime you are drawing, it's true. I mean, look around you. Perspective is everywhere. Because it has to that, do with that's your vision. What I meant because, like, yeah. well, you know, if you look at all, let's say just I'm looking at my desk over here, I can kind of make a sort of one or two point perspective from just looking at it. Yes. Like where the, the focus of my eyes are. Exactly. Yes, you're correct. You are very correct. Okay. And it, you could get complicated with it, you could become more simple with it. I mean, it depends upon you, okay, how far you want to go. Now, that's just the one point, okay? Now, um, let's go, okay, is, is this, do you want me to draw a little more on this little aspect? Maybe, maybe towards the middle. Middle, okay, let me do some stuff in the middle, right? Um, let's do um, a table maybe, a coffee table. Uh, we'll make the coffee table a little higher, right about there. So remember, like I said, always start off with your basic form of, Victor, yes. Can you like draw something that's not so square, like, so I can get like the idea of how to do it without making things square? <laughs> now, let me tell you, does it have to be square? No, you can round things out. Remember I just talked about rounding things out? Yeah. Oh, I do it all the time. I round, I, I start off with perspective and then I round the body out. And then before you know it, I got a body in front of me. <laughs> Shaker? Yes. Can you do a face in perspective? A face in perspective, yes, I can. Now, um, all right, let's do, here, here's like a table, okay? And now let's say somebody said a face, right? Now, what kind of perspective do you want though? Okay, we'll, we'll do a one point perspective face, deal? Sound good? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's start off with the boxy form. Okay. Everybody knows about this. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to make it complicated a bit because what I'll do is I'll make the nose and something on this side. Okay. That goes that way. And that goes that way. And now, see, I'm thinking how wide is the face, how... So now, from that, what do I do? I start chiseling. Okay, I know it sounds weird, but now I start thinking about the projection of it. I think about rounding out my form in the midst of all of that. Okay, I think about this, the lines of the face, <laughs> like I've been taught. Okay, break that down. 
So now this is going to become the face, so to speak. This is the mouth area. This here would become then that nose area. The project. See, this is the middle. This is the projection. And that projection comes out. Um, now I gotta be careful here because the nose is not quite, I mean, it is a two point, like, okay, if I were to break this down, it's more of a, um, let me draw this so you could see it better. My darn colors, I'm running out of color. Okay, let me darken the lines so you see what the heck I'm talking about. say the mouth would be right about there and um a guesstimation okay and then this here and then that ear thing would probably be with the uh, you know right about here but of course you know proportion wise make it a little thinner so yeah i say thinner <laughs> that was a little too wide for a face um right about there okay and then the neck, the roundness of the form. Okay, all that comes into play. Does that make sense? And then we could go on further with the body, you know, the, the body. It's, oh wait, see, now I'm getting this two points. See, I'm getting fancy now. I don't want to get fancy. <laughs> I want to keep it basic. Um, does that make sense, guys, what I'm talking about here? Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so you see how now it's, I'm now making my form. Get it? Does that make sense? Hello, hello? Yeah. Okay, so you see, you could almost do anything. And then, you know, then what would I do? I'd probably get a picture and find somebody with maybe features that I want, or maybe I'll look around the room and I put Juliet's nose on her and then I'll, I'll use like Annie's eyes and you know, I, you know, I play around that way. Get it? To help you get reality according to what it is that you're thinking. It's like you are merging reality to your imagination. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, um, I was gonna go on to two point, okay? Is that okay for those whom? Now question, um, any questions about this level? Questions about this level? Questions? Are you guys good? Is this enough for this level? Yeah. Okay, now. For my painting three students and my third level students, or even a student that, yo, I've had this, I've done my one point, I've done my two point, I've done all that. Um, maybe that's you, okay? So now, next level, okay? Now we're gonna get into how we want to view reality. And now we are getting into how we look upon reality, okay? Step one, okay? How do we want, when we talk about two-point perspective, now we're thinking about where do we want to stand in that, that realm of reality, okay? No longer are we parallel with the items that are in front of us, okay? Now we are in the corner we're sitting above things. We're maybe down on the floor looking up. So we can decide what kind of reality that we'd like to create. Video game designers, how do you think they do it? Animators, how do you think they do it? They do it with perspective. Now, this is for two point. Now, now no longer are we on the parallel. So no longer is it one point. Now we're on the edge of the, we're now, we're at the edge, like let's say if you're in a room, okay? Let's say I'm in a room and I'm standing in front of the classroom, okay? If I'm standing in front of the classroom and I'm looking at the students, that, my universe is parallel right now to them. But now if I stand in the corner of the classroom, okay? Or if I stand in the back of the classroom in the corner, 
or if I stand on the other side in the corner, I'm gonna get a different view. And that view is two-point perspective. Now, two-point perspective, you need two points, okay? Now, two-point, the very first thing that you gotta think about is how do you want to view your world, okay? What kind of visual do you wanna create for yourself? And it doesn't have to be a world. It doesn't have to be tables, chairs, or this, or that. It could be anything you want to create, okay? And give me a minute. I'm going to share with you some Salvador Dali work, okay? They're incredible. Um, above the view, your points have to be down low. On the view or on the horizon, your points should be in the middle. And then below the horizon, your points should be up at the top, okay? Um Oh, bottom, I should say, bottom, and then here, middle, and that's on the horizon, on horizon. Yeah, because it all deals upon with how you are looking. Are you on the horizon? Are you above the horizon? Are you below? Now, a few laws that you need to know, or a law that you need to know with two-point perspective. You need two vanishing points. You need a vertical. You need a parallel vertical. And anytime you go above or below the horizon, you go to the opposite VP, okay? Which is basically the vanishing point. Now, very quickly, let me start one off for you, okay? I'm gonna start off easy. I'm gonna go ahead and put two points, okay? Make it basic, okay? Two points on either side. Now, if you remember, I said it starts with a vertical, right? Okay, so, Take the vertical, take it to the point, take it to the point, take it to the point, and take it to the point. Parallel vertical, parallel vertical, okay? And now I've created a box. That box can now become anything. <laughs> I can become a head, that can become a truck, that can be... I mean, any, I mean, have you ever played that game where you look up in the sky and you look at the clouds and you decide what that object is going to be? Have you ever done that? Okay. Yeah. Same thing. That's all you're doing. You're looking at this object and you say, ooh, what could that be? And it could be almost anything. But to start off, that's a two point. Okay. Now. Let's say I want to create this scene of maybe city or, I don't know, maybe some kind of mindscape. Uh, maybe you want to make bridges and things. I don't know. Maybe you want to make a maze. Um, I don't know. I'm just starting off with some simple stuff. And then, you know, the rest is yours. The rest is yours to play. To play and practice. Um... I don't know, I'm just starting off with some easy stuff. Now, usually what I like to do to keep my buildings all in one line is I usually do that. So that, that way when I add another building, let's say, if I choose to do buildings, <laughs> okay, but it doesn't necessarily have to be buildings, okay? It could be books on a shelf. It could be anything you want it to be. It could be a bunch of cars parked in a parking lot. It could be a tra uh, traffic jam. It could be... And make it fun. Have fun with it. Um, really get into this perspective and, and let it kind of take you off into this wonderful world that perspective usually does. Now, I will tell you, anything that goes on this side goes to that point. Anything on that side goes to that point. So let's say we want, I don't know, the uh, window thing. We want the word thing. I don't know. And again, if it's the word thing, you gotta cut it down, like K-R-O-P, let's say I wanna put crop there. And then, you know, you think about the letters and then you think about beefing up the letters. And I'm sorry, it's so small that it's so hard to draw because I've got this pencil that doesn't have a point. Um, R, <laughs> um, boy, oh boy. Yeah, O, and then P, okay. There's my crop, my temporary crop, <laughs> but try to keep it all in line where everything's together. Um, my, my windows, my doors, 
everything has to go to the perspective. Let's say I want a projection out of that. I don't know, projectiles come out from here. And then this it finishes up. Yeah, everything is done with the ruler and the points. If you are not using the ruler and the points, you are doing something wrong, okay? It's like off with your fingers. Um, I'm gonna tell you the master in here, is Robinson in here? Robertson, is Robertson in here? Miss Robertson. Robertson, are you here? No, okay. She became the expert last year. She did darn good with that perspective. If I can remember carefully. So she's an expert. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of um, also midpoints and and a little bit of math you got to think about while you're doing this. I hate to say that, but it's true. <clears throat> um, actually, I went a little too far. Please forgive me because I, I was measuring from that point out. I should not have gone as far as I did, but I did. So that should be the end of my little you know, my little, what is it, my canopy, okay? Does that make sense? Hello? Everybody with me? Okay. Yeah. And you can do anything, again, the car, the this, the that, it all starts from, from these basic forms, okay? Now, um, let me share with you some things that were going on in here with my other class, just so that way, you know, you see more than one thing. Um, some different two-pointers because I know I taught it in my other classes. I've taught two, three, and four, and five point. Um, and I will teach it with you. Don't worry. I'll do it today if you like. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I did. With them, I did, I did a beach chair. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And how did it start? Again, it was the middle vertical and then I made my shape. Okay, there's the two points. And then I broke it down in the middle. And then from there, I did my little projectile. This is my little projectile, okay? And I just kept it all to the vanishing points. That's it, that's all I did. Same thing here, I started off with the box form, found the midpoint, and then I rounded it out. And then I drop a line, drop a line, then I curve it out. And then the same too with the, with the, with the with the uh, shovel, okay? Now, um, question. Would anybody like to see me demonstrate three point, four point, or five point? Or is that enough for you? And show you what they look like, okay? <clears throat> Here's some samples. Let me also get for you. Ah, oh, the three point. This is the three point. Okay. See what happens here. The law is, okay, that you have a two point. Okay, but now with the two point, it was the it was the vertical, the parallel vertical, and the two point perspective to, to, to the two vanishing points. And then above and below the horizon. Okay, remember the opposite. Now what happens with three point, that vertical, instead of it being up and down, it's now being converged to that vanishing point here. Okay, and then here's your middle vertical. Take it to the point, take it to the point, take it to the point, parallel vertical, parallel vertical, but that vertical is not, it's kind of an oxymoron. It's now going to this vanishing point instead. Does that make sense? Now, would anybody like me to demonstrate three, um, four, or five point? Four or five? I'd like point. to see them all. Okay, all right, cool, I will. All right, so, um, now I will say, if by chance you feel like you've had, like your brain has had enough, you're welcome to go off into your sketchbook and start creating, okay? Now, for those who want to see the three, four, and five, I'm gonna demonstrate it. 
if your brain can take it up, okay? <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you some samples, so I'll call you guys back. All right, now, three point, same thing. But I will tell you, with three point, you have some options. You could play around with your points way up at the top, and then one here. You play around with it in the middle, and here, and then one, well, if you do it all in the same plane, that might be a problem. So I would say in the middle or at the top, okay, is what I would recommend for you. Now, here's my dot, and I'm just gonna start with a vertical, okay, any vertical. Now, that's my vertical, but yet, like I said, it's going to the vanishing point, okay? It's going to that third vanishing point. Take it to the point, take it to the point, take it to the point, take it, to the point and now parallel vertical is no longer parallel vertical it's going to the vanishing point going to the vanishing point and then take it to the opposite and then take it to the opposite all right so now that's my little cube to three point perspective okay try it again Let's do another one. Here's my vertical, <laughs> which is no longer vertical. Take it to the point. Take it to the point. And take it to the point. And take it to the point. And now parallel vertical. And then parallel vertical. Again, those verticals are no longer vertical. They're now converging. And because you are below the horizon, you're now going to finish it up by creating the box. This goes to that point, and this goes to that point. So take it to the point. And it's going to look weird. Your eyes are going to say, what? What is going on here? But just follow the law, and I promise you it's going to look right. And you can keep on going. Let's do another one. Here's a vertical. Take it to the point. And this is gonna look weird because it's on a strange angle, but it's called theory of relativity. Once you put everything together, it looks right. You know, your mind is looking at it and say, whoa, something must be off. But no, you just keep on going, just keep respect in the laws and I promise you it's going to look correct. Now this goes here to finish it up. This goes in that direction and that top goes to there. And you know erase your construction lines in between. You don't need them. Um, they're just there for you to be able to get your perspective right. So now I have this shape that's three shapes in three-point perspective. Does that make sense? Any questions on the three-point? Do you want to see more? I think, a, I think it's a bit funny that the verticals become less vertical the closer you are to the corner. Yes. Well, you see, it, I'm really using a wrong term, vertical, um, but it's just so that you could get it right in your head with the, with the convergence. See, because now the verticals, or I should say the... I, I, I usually say middle vertice or middle vertical. It's just to help you think it out better. It starts with the middle and then you take it to the point, take it to the point, take it to the point. Then you do the parallel, parallel, but again, it's not really parallel. There's a convergence that's going on, get it? It's like it's being sucked up by a black hole somewhere. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Oh. In real life, hmm. you don't really see that much three-point perspective going on, so it becomes more of like a style instead yeah. of like... Not unless you are on the top of a building in New York City looking down. Then you'll see three-point. <laughs> That's about the only time you'll see three-point. Or in an airplane looking down. Or a drone view. Yeah. Get it? So as we go up through each point, we're just kind of adding like an extra dimension. Kind of. Okay. Would you like to see four point and five point? It's up to you. That's what I'm here for. Okay. That's good. All right. So um, if you feel comfortable, you may do your assignment in three point. Okay. Not necessarily, but if you want to. And last but not least, oh, here we go. 
All right, four and five. Four and five, they're on circles, okay? I'll do four first. Dot one, vanishing point two, vanishing point three, and four. Now I'll tell you what, because I got two, a few colors here, um, the next lines that you put in, uh, you could put them in with a compass if you, you know, if you want to be picky, but what I'm doing is it's kind of like an arc in between those, it's like the surface, like the surface line, you could say, as, as though like we're on a map somewhere on a globe. Actually, these lines exist when you draw the face, believe it or not, um, depending upon. All right, so I would draw these lines first, so that way you could start in with the rest of it. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the ruler gets thrown out, especially if, let me share with you, like let's say my vertical, remember that vertical thing? Now long, it's no longer a vertical, it's going to the point. And then now the convergency, the convergency goes to this point, but you gotta keep it on that line. And then the parallel vertical goes this way. The only thing that starts to go to the vanishing point is this other side. Um, and you could say it's the internal part of the spherical dome, let's say. And then this here, is what gives it that that concaved look. Now let's say, I don't know, let's come up with something on this side. Um, like I say, I, I tend to look at things and I start seeing things and building whatever it is that I see in it. Um, I know that sounds weird, <laughs> please forgive me. Now this goes to the internal part of the spherical dome, so it goes to the opposite VP. And then it gets finished up by this parallel that comes from that, quote unquote, that dimension. And then this also gets drawn in. And yeah, you, know, you gotta do this part by hand, but yet these other parts are done by the points, okay? Um, now, what else, what else? Uh, let's say I need to put into it a curved, uh, I don't know, a window, let's say, I don't know. Make it up whatever you want. And then the internal part will come from here. And um, let's say, I don't know, maybe I wanna make a, um, a staircase. Uh, hold on, this projectile's gonna come from, yeah, here, sorry. Let me get my ruler. Come from there, come from there. And then this is gonna rotate its way. Rotate, rotate. This also, rotate, rotate. Um, that's a beginning. And let's say, I don't know, let's, let's do something a little bizarre here. Let's make a floating um, staircase. I don't know, that might be interesting to look at floating staircase, or I don't know, a floating bench. <laughs> it could be a bench. Oh, it could be anything I want it to be. Whatever my imagination allows it to be. Okay. So, but yet I'm using my projectiles. These are project, anything that comes from out of the spherical dome comes from those points there. Get it? You could play around. Well, later we'll talk about coloring it. Right now, I'd say in the first few days, you're working on the drawing. Even my painting kids, you won't be painting. You're going to be drawing, okay? Uh, you're going to be drawing to get the um, image done, and then you'll paint into it, okay? Uh, this is about the only time that I'll let you draw first, okay, is when you're doing perspective. Okay, because perspective requires that you think it out and you draw it out. Now, does that make sense what I just did there? Hello, hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Now, 
five point. That, that was four point. And now five point is pretty much the same, except now you got a point in the middle. Now, please forgive me, I did not draw a perfect circle. <laughs> there's one point, there's another point, another point, another point, and then another point. So we gotta get those spherical um, arcs in, so to speak. And do it both ways to help you out. And then from that now begins our journey. And like I said, this part you're going to have to draw by um, hand, this part. But now to go in here, that's where I'm going to use my ruler to help me. Connected. And, okay. and let's do some, let's just have fun with this one. I'm just going to go all over the place. Um, I'm going to start off like that. And I'm going to now, that's my middle vertical, so to speak. Now I'm taking it to the point in here. And now this is the plane. And I don't know if you are familiar with Salvador Dali. Oh my God, that man creates the most amazing images, which I'll share in a minute. Um, okay. Yeah, just so you could see kind of what's going on there. And I could sit here forever making as many shapes as I'd like, um, and, but keeping the curve, okay keeping the plane, so to speak, the plane of which it's resting on. Use that point there, and then here's the plane again. So now I have this shape that's resting on top of this one, okay? And I could keep on going. I could uh, continue, continue until I have filled up my page completely. Starting off first with what I have and now take it to the point. Take it to the point and then like that. Makes sense? Just like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. All right. Wait, so, so this perspective, since we're kind of making the building analogy, would be like if you're directly on top? Oh, no. This is if you are looking at it from the reflection of a ball, a spherical dome. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah what I was looking is. at a few pictures, and I yeah. noticed that they would literally get a ball. Like, yeah. Um, 